Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a great week. Uh, last time we finished chapter 4, Below the Surface, and today we are starting chapter 5, right on track. So let's get into it. So today my list states that I will be playing as my favorite character in the whole show, Yang Jia Long. I'm going to use her original outfit since it is my absolute favorite. So let's do this. Just going to check around, make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. A key thingy. Okay. Let's look for that key thingy. That was experience, which I don't need because, uh... I leveled up Yang completely because of course I did and she's my favorite and I'm... I have issues. Alright, let's, uh, hmm, I'm not sure, I'm gonna open this door. Like I said, just check around, check every nook and cranny that I can. Because you can easily miss stuff in this game. It's ridiculous. It's kind of tricky to really get everything. Here, first batch of Grim. I really like Yang's fighting style, it's, it's fun. And I love her uh, embasalicas, or the things she wears on her wrists, her weapons. I think they're freaking cool AF. Ha! <laughs> okay. So, this little thing here is a... You jump across these two and you can get an artifact. I think it's an achievement as well. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not very good at it, as you can tell. Um, you kind of have to really time it. And there's a Grimmy down here. Okay. Also, I really like the music. Propofol is such a pretty place. Like, we saw it once in the show, and it's probably one of my favorite locales in the show. Okay, sorry. I'm not really gonna, I'm not gonna bother with that. I just thought it was funny. Plus, I don't really need the artifact anyway since Sling Yang is fully leveled up. But yeah, um, I might come back in with another character. Because I know I did it once as Ruby. I think it's really, it's easy to do the jumping puzzles, Ruby. Aww, who wants to share a sappy moment with me under the tree? Also, I'm sure Blake would love to share a sappy moment with you under the tree. Yeah, I went there. I'm a bumblebee shipper. I am bumblebee trash, and I don't care. 
I remember when I actually first got into Ruby, it was because of uh, a channel on YouTube called uh, Screw Attack, and they do a series called Death Battle. And one of the death battles was between Yang and Tifa from Final Fantasy. And um, that was the reason I absolutely fell in love with Yang. And then I watched the show proper and I'm just like, yeah, I love this character now. She is great. Oh god. Go away, please. I don't like fighting these Grim. These are my least favorite Grim, along with the, um, Explody Boys. They're just not fun to deal with. These ones are fine. Go away, go to grief. Haven't even gotten up to the final part of the level yet, and it feels like there's more waves than they should be. Bloody boy again. This is it, Deacon. <laughs> Those mutated grim you fought in that glen were no fluke. Now we know there are more of them. Follow the train tracks uphill and maybe we can find out where they're coming from. I don't like those exploding grim and one just tried to sneak up on me. No, you will go away. I don't like being snuck up on. It's not fun.
Mm. Range attacks. Oh god, I'm gonna have to. Is all that matters. Um, okay. Let's go. Oh, why? Leave me alone. Why did I just say not about not being, not like being snuck upon? Snuck up on? Damn grim. Alright. God. Do not like it. I do not want it. Go away. There's an artifact around here. There it is. Gotcha. It's like picking them up to show you guys where they are. Because it's fun. Careful guys, if you wouldn't want to trip and forever fall. Eh? <laughs> oh, Barbara, when did you get in here? <laughs> Last little bit. Cute little pony. Oh god. They're coming at me all at once. Please, I do not want this. Things. 
They barely give you a breather, it's ridiculous. I mean, I guess that's all about being a huntress, though. You barely get a break, you have to constantly protect people and fight for what you believe in. Last wave, okay. And it's the final one. Oh god, yeah. I don't like this guy. He doesn't explode, but it's still really annoying to deal with, but it's like one of the strongest. It is the strongest Grim. That's not the final boss, I think. So what's best to, it's best to just kind of range attack it to death. Maybe go in with your ultimate if you can. I'm going to get my ultimate up all the way. So I can do it twice. Okay, let's do it. And just kind of, oh god. Oh Jesus, that really took a chunk out of me. Damn, you're right up my butt. Go away. Oh my god. How did I get so far away from him last time? Like, Christ. Oh god, he's right there. to save enough distance now. Let's just... There we go. Let's get to the source of where these mutated monstrosities are coming from. And more importantly, who's behind it? I said to I get it close. If we can manage to get to the end of the rail line, we just might find the answers. That was a fun time. 80 kills. Pretty good. Considering all the friggin' Grim that showed up. That was insane. Anyway, guys, that's where we're gonna end it. Uh, next time we'll be starting chapter 6, end of the line.